Good morning, St. Martin. This is co-principal for academics, Ryan Hurley, and we're calling again this Monday morning, March 23rd, with our prayer and announcements. So again, we record these prayers and announcements every morning at 8.15 live. So uh, we've got 23 or so people on our prayer this morning. So good morning, everybody. Let's go ahead and center ourselves. Uh, Get in that spiritual comfy spot where you can begin your day. And today we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our scripture today comes from Joshua 3. As soon as the priests who carried the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, set foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing downstream will be cut off and stand up in a heap. Make it plain, my brothers and sisters, when Joshua and the Israelites came to the Jordan River, there was no way for them to get across. God told Joshua to have priests who were carrying the Ark of the Covenant step into the river and part. Now I can imagine the priests saying, Joshua, what if it doesn't happen? But instead, they dared to step into the unknown. And in that moment, the water upstream began piling up. Now, we often say, God, when you part the river, I will go. And God says, no, go and I'll part the river. God purposely puts us in situations where it looks impossible. When you don't see how it can work out or where the funds are coming from, when every thought tells you to play it safe. If you'll step into the unknown, along the way, you'll see miracles. Doors will open that you couldn't open. And the right people will show up. That's when the Jordan Rivers will part. And so we pray this morning, Father, thank you for the promise that you will be part of my Jordan River when I step into the water, when things look impossible. I know that you want me to be bold and take that step of faith into the unknown. And I believe I'm going to see miracles along the way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's say our school prayer. Each thought, each word, each deed of mine shall be an act of love sublime. Everything that I shall do shall be my God, the love of you. St. Martin de Porres, pray for us. Okay, so... Uh, last week, I shared that we were collecting your songs, inspirational songs, songs that keep you motivated, songs that keep you lifted. This morning, when I woke up, I had to listen to Little Three Birds. This is a song that definitely gets me going uh, every day. It's hard not to hear uh, these rhythms from Bob Marley and not feel lifted. So as we rise up this morning, if you have a song that's keeping you lifted, uh, please make sure you share that with us on social media at St. Martin Clee or hashtag keeping me lifted. And I'll collect all those suggestions. We did a one, one submission last week and that one submission came from Mary Bondi. Mary sent us a song from Chicago. Uh, I know Mary in her past uh, history has spent some time on Chicago's Lakeshore Drive. And I think that's what was keeping her lifted was that memory uh, sending us that Chicago submission. Uh, please make sure that you send those songs in. Update from last week. 99% attendance across last week. So I've got my friend Bill Nye here doing his dance. Uh, congratulations, St. Martin. Let's keep up another strong week of attendance and work completion this week. Also, a co question for other scientists in the room. Today at 9 a.m. live, uh, Miss Kirby will be uh, in her kitchen or her living room. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, uh, we got to keep the roof on, so be careful, Miss Kirby. Um, but she will be doing a lab at 9 a.m. It's not just for chemistry students, I should add. Anybody can go in, uh, and, and check out that lab this morning. Also, commercial for campus ministry. Please, if you haven't done so already, reach out to campus ministry. Share a story uh, of what's going on uh, with you this last week. Um, let us know if there are any prayer requests or concerns so we can keep you lifted up in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, but please, please, please reach out to Campus Ministries so we can collect those stories and keep you in mind. Happy birthday, Russell Crofta. It is Russell Crofta's birthday. So please make sure you send Russell a text, an email, let him know that we hope that he has a great day. Uh, it is his birthday today. It's not one of these weekend situations. So happy birthday, Russell Crofta. 
Have any questions? Have any uh, questions about math specifically? Well, if you do have those questions, send them to Miss Little. Miss Little will be available Monday through Thursday at 10, 1, and 3 for any and all math support, or just to check in and say hello. This is in addition to all of your other math teachers and the support they, they give you. We just wanna make sure that you have another live uh, person that you can reach out to throughout the day to get some math help and support. We also will be referring some students to Miss Little. So if you get a message from us, if you uh, are contacted by administration, so we know that you could get a little math, extra math help, um, these are the times when you'll need to go and meet with Miss Little. Student expectations, you guys did a great job yesterday checking into all of your classes um, and making sure that you sign those attendance forms. Also, make sure that you are submitting things through Google Classroom. So this is week two of our online learning. So we are definitely uh, digging in and making sure that students don't fall behind. So uh, if you have any missing assignments, make sure that you submit those. This week, we are going to add advisory circles on Friday. So Friday, you still don't have any new assignments. You still don't have any classes you have to check into on Friday um, that are required. But we are going to ask that you take some time to circle up with your advisory. So those times will be coming out sometime later today. It'll probably be one time across the school in the mid-morning. Um, but please make sure that you uh, put that on your calendar, at least on your radar for right now, that we will have some advisory circles coming up on Friday. They'll only last about 15, 20 minutes. At the same situation as uh, when we have our in-face, face-to-face in-person advisory. Finally, office hours. If you have not done so yet, you need to check in during your teacher's office hours at least once a week, and that's all your teachers. Our teachers uh, are there for you. We wanna see you. We wanna make sure that you're heard and you have questions answered. So please make sure that you're checking in during those office hours. We do have a way of checking the analytics and finding out who's going to those office hours behind the scenes. So this week, we're gonna compile that data so that we can reach out to students who haven't been going to their office hours um, and make sure that we, uh, you know, encourage you to do that, um, even in the midst of us kind of doing some back channeling and checking to see uh, who's actually going to those. All right, well, St. Martin, those are our announcements for today. This is the time uh, when we gather in the morning and say, go with God, God goes with you. Have a great day, St. Martin.